welcome friends to our NPTEL MOOC module on health economics. I must introduce uh, to this uh, module by referring to the you know most uh, you know wanted program of uh, the M Ministry of Education uh, where uh, it facilitates the online education uh, at par with the international standard. And uh, another interesting aspect is that you know this also guarantees the holistic structure of uh, you know um, different discourses. This particular module is uh, shortlisted you know after uh, various rounds of you know discussions and uh, expert opinions and uh, based on the gaps in the online module in Indian context. Uh, even in the international level, the course has uh, been developed and that is titled as Health Economics. And I will clarify how it is relevant where uh, the you know, participants or the students uh, can get the best out of it, how it will be useful for their research, their consultancy project and uh, can um, you know, take this understanding to a next level for sure. Without uh, further delay, I think it is better to introduce you about its complete structure, its uh, you know, process, etc., and, and the entire overview of the, um, you know, the course. Hence, uh, uh, we are now pr presenting here as the, you know, uh, the, the outline uh, navigating the world of health economics. We start by explaining the definition. Then we'll uh, talk about the emergency and the importance of it, and uh, we'll identify the structure and and uh, and and of course the 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 instructor who is teaching and the supporting staff who are facilitating this course and how it is made, and also we'll at the end discuss about the the, the beneficiaries uh, of this specific course. So let us explain health economics in, in, in a systematic way. As we know that economics you know, is discussed when we are actually you know, uh, conflicting with resource allocation. When we are uh, supposed to manage the resources to the best end so that the long run is not compromised where we emphasize the role of economic entities, role of the market, role of the governing bodies, role of the public policy institutions. Similarly, we are also uh, in a way to you know, re-emphasize the economic entities or the stakeholders to you know, explain the health and healthcare. There are clear difference between these two. We have even explained in our module and you will be very happy to you know go through each of them it has uh, you know mathematical modeling it has um, you know real examples even it has you know uh, you know numeric examples to solve it gives you the background of uh, solving you know the problems for a decision making and uh, interestingly you can calculate uh, using the software and and, and uh, databases let us explain a bit about economics again. Economics is the science that studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and uh, scarce resources, which have an alternative uses. You know, with the standard reference for this is by you know, Robbins 1932 paper deals with the scarcity and uh, then of course the need uh, to be you know, emphasized. And then so far as healthcare is concerned, this deals with the resources of the society where people use, especially when they have you know, ill events to cure them or to care for them. In addition to curing and caring for people who have already become ill, healthcare includes some of those activities that seek to prevent them from becoming ill in the first place. Beyond that, healthcare also includes rehabilitation uh, aspects as well as mentioned in Olsen 2017. So what is health then? Health 
is the discourse of uh, and the discourse with the mix of economics and healthcare uh, where uh, you know uh, economics and healthcare have uh, proper definitions uh, that are widely acceptable defining health has been indeed problematic and controversial healthcare uh, you know clarifications are made but health is a you know broader term uh, we can think of a continuum of definitions ranging from very narrow to very broad so far as the very very narrow definition is concerned it always concerns with the healthcare providers in the first hand usually refer to a medico technical you know definitions here this means you know health uh, you know uh, is the degree of bodily functioning you know observable to an external expert and measurable on medical instruments whereas in a broader you know uh, context we refer to the who world health organization definition uh, the, this explains a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity this indeed covers a holistic picture and can be fit into you know different setups with such an all encompassing definition everything becomes healthcare as all commodities affect physical mental as well as you know social well being since resources are scarce and health is a you know complex but essential for survival the need is here for a proper you know understanding of how to allocate uh, the resources especially for the scarce resources that provide health benefits to most individuals here it comes the you know, role of what we call health economics this defines as the application of economic theory models empirical definitions to the analysis of decision making by the people healthcare providers and government with respect to health and healthcare hence we are actually not just dealing with the you know healthcare providers we are also dealing with their uh, subscriber the you know, public institutions in all regard we have to take draw decisions based on the existing you know information related to both health as well as healthcare we have also explained the difference in its respective chapter um, for health and healthcare apart from strong you know backup from economic theory health economics also comprises a body of theory developed specifically to understand the behavior of patients doctors hospitals and analytical tools those are developed to facilitate resource allocation for decision making especially in healthcare here i am just giving a background of uh, the subject health economics as a subject and its evolution uh, we are identifying and men mentioning the important you know footprints uh, for the safe of the subject referring to the 1931 uh, bureau of medical you know economics which was established this initiated discussion about insurance plans as an alternative way of compensation even in the works of 1945 of us army which established the rand project which grew in you know consequent years to rand cooperation using you know rational choice framework there are some rational choice framework and experiments to explain economics of healthcare we have also discussed this in in later chapters uh, and you will surely find the examples and the you know interpretations of the rand project and their experiments some early pioneers of health economic mix include the works of Fred, uh, milton friedman who received the you know, nobel prize in 1976 and his you know uh, few e uh, economic papers of 1935 45 are uh, seen as the first pioneering works in the field of health economics also we have cited the one uh, authors who have mentioned this and we have also discussed about muskins work selma and you know, our muskins uh, two works first uh, attempted to you know define health economics and followed by the second piece uh, 
was probably the first paper establishing health as an investment that is more important and we have also discussed in our chapters. And the works of Kenneth Aero, another Nobel uh, Prize you know recipient uh, in 1972 uh, who kept the single most uh, and uh, the, the work uh, pertaining to the area and in its single most famous and cited contribution laying grounds for this particular discipline. You would believe the work of uh, the you know Michael Grossman is most important for this uh, you know domain uh, is because of his contribution uh, to the field of uh, health economics only because of identifying the attributes such as human capital in his you know works. Uh, he mentioned the work through the theory of human capital and ge this gives a standard method to assess indirect opportunity cost in health economics. Hence, Grossman work is highly cited. Important for uh, uh, this uh, so far as the importance of you know uh, health economics is concerned, this is not just important for the individual also for the societal well-being. Uh, availability of healthcare care uh, you know, determines the quality of our lives and prospect for survival. You would believe these are uh, well referred in our work in our respective weeks uh, explaining a gamut of uh, you know um, examples in giving you dealing such as uh, it is quality indicators how to measure quality of life indicators or indexes we have referred some of the indicator i will come to it soon the health sector and economic well being are major sectors Com and 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 it, it covers the components of spending investment employment and amount of uh, you know care provided these are crucially linked to the overall well-being of the country and its fellow citizens. For India, improvements in healthcare growth and advances will be crucial as the government of India announces the Amritkal in the recent budget 2022-23. There are number of uh, steps also taken as part of the you know, um, ministry uh, of Indian government uh, allocating certain budget in this segment including you know Ayushman you know Bharat Yujana as well. We will discuss you know these in our um, you know end chapter final you know week uh, lectures <coughs> in detail. A decision about healthcare financing is largely influenced by economic environment and economic constraints. This is concerning uh, the global national and even local issues and are increasingly seeking economic ideas and methods of you know analysis. Hence, it is my privilege to give you the you know um, holistic picture of our 12 weeks structure and this is a 12 weeks course which has a coverage of you know 60 lectures, 60 plus lectures. Each of the uh, lecture recording uh, is around 30 minutes, Some sometimes we also exceed it to around uh, 50 minutes, but uh, largely we ma made it around 25 to 30 minutes. And this is the you know units explaining introduction of health economics, demand in healthcare, then supply in healthcare, then equity in health, then financing and then insurance, then behavioral aspects of healthcare, how it is shaping of the you know human you know uh, need through their behavioral aspects and, and, and their conflicts arises out of the economic entities. We um, have covered the aspects of uh, the you know economics and the health systems, how our health system is functioning, what are the features of our Indian health system and how it leads to different structure and or the features of our health system whether it is actually creating a you know, question mark to our supply side aspect or it is related to the demand side issues or uh, you know it is somewhere identifying the challenges of health system responsiveness ok. So, uh, hence when we address the issues of health system in detail we will of course discuss about uh, their you know uh, challenges related to evaluation of health and their efficiencies ok. So, hence you know uh, the health evaluation really matters to guaranteeing you the fact that 
if you follow the principles of health economics correctly, the the if given the health system, we can able to you know uh, understand and case its its level and uh, locate whether it is actually robust or there are shortcomings. So, how far these are apply uh, apl applicable to deal with the problems in our system? We will explain in our next week that is you know in 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 especially in week number 10 we have discussed about you know um, efficiency in healthcare week number 8 and 9 we have emphasized about you know uh, it's its um, evaluation you know principles uh, of evaluation of health and and their healthcare especially in healthcare uh, we discussed their applications uh, this is not the I mean not just completing unless we are actually emphasizing you know the data sources which are the different you know available data sources around us. Hence, we have also a coverage of the you know all possible data uh, sources which are relevant for uh, for understanding healthcare or health economics in detail. We have tried our best to discuss about you know the micro sources or the survey based data sources which are large scale in nature uh, like you know national sample survey india's human development uh, uh, survey then uh, national family health survey then longitudinal uh, uh, you know aging survey of india then 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 we also try to uh, mention the you know consumer pyramid you know data okay uh, then then some some you know not in detail of course we have separate module as well however we will get the glimpse of also all of these in especially in um, you know week number 11 of our module and uh, this uh, is also uh, addressing the data sources which are macro in nature like national health accounts or uh, data you know like our uh, state level uh, uh, data sources we have also uh, trying to give you the disease profile information as well okay so some indication we have given related to uh, you know daily okay or or, or quality data sets I'll I'll, I'll 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 clarify in our respective model uh, quality quality adjusted life years daily disability adjusted life years will also present last but the least which is emphasizing in this uh, model uh, in this you know uh, entire structure is on public health and the uh, policies what are the latest policies how our public policy um, public health institutions are functioning and um, uh, how efficient they are and uh, what are the latest figures and who are responsible for dealing with etc are the interesting aspect and um, also to introduce you about our uh, team who are uh, supporting this including me, myself Dr. Pratap Mohanty, I am a faculty uh, associated with IIT Roorkee, I have over you know 16 years of experience and uh, purely dedicating my work to the field of you know health economics and uh, in addition to that I used to deliver you know uh, modules on handling large scale data survey you can find from uh, various you know YouTube's uh, uh, channels and even online platforms uh, on my you know contributions such as you know handling large scale data and also in specific to ex um, exploring survey data on healthcare and um, I um, used to also write in national dailies on health issues. Uh, like you know national newspapers and their editorials I have, I have also been um, part of uh, the better uh, you know the reputed uh, institutions as part of my academic journey and uh, besides that I am also an expert member to train the you know uh, IS officers in Mosuri LBS and AA Mosuri in uh, in addition to that I was while I was in um, India Institute of Foreign Trade, I used to uh, train the you know IRS officers, you know IFS officers, Indian foreign servant uh, probationers, and even um, the other ITS officers as well. The most important contribution of our team is to guide you um, through the you know um, different uh, nuances of healthcare challenges 
and uh, I'll also introduce my team as well. However, one interesting piece which I worked as part of my you know project, uh, which is independent project sponsored by Government of India in addition to the um, to our profile. I worked with uh, traditional medicine. I found how Indian you know healthcare system is very robust and it has huge scope for uh, you know uh, rejuvenation and. Uh, uh, to support this particular you know 12 week uh, program we have a uh, dedicated team including the support from NPTEL office of uh, IIT Madras and uh, here we have a bigger team uh, including uh, the professors and uh, our non teaching staffs of IIT Roorkee we have a very good studio which uh, have given the facility for us to you know save few of with the latest materials which are very relevant for our scholars to learn and uh, along with the, the one at the you know back side who have been constantly supporting to the making of these materials are my you know teaching assistants. They are indeed our PhD scholars um, you know they are I am just naming uh, the three names one is uh, Mr. Akas ok. So, uh, I am just writing down. Uh, because they will be interacting you in some part of time and Mr. Uh, Priyandu and third one is Mr. Kripa, Kripa Nandan all are, are actually working Akas is working for his PhD thesis on health dependence, health state dependence, state dependence. I am just giving you in another half a minute information about it. Uh, Priyandu is working on health and uh, environment issues, health and environment issues and especially on indoor pollution and Kripa is working on health system responsiveness ok, HSR where we have discussed about our health system uh, they have, and also emphasizing on efficiency etc. And others are also working directly or indirectly to these, these issues ok. So, and they are also geared off uh, uh, with you know different uh, tools and techniques for for the clarifications. And I am sure uh, if you get a chance in interacting these uh, guys they are uh, will be assetful throughout and I am sure uh, it will be helpful for your understanding and uh, can bridge uh, the, the, the gaps in our uh, you know approach which is meant for uh, the online modules. Okay, so, the beneficiaries we are also discussing how in general and for the you know uh, specific uh, or the for the students in, in, in particular and the beneficiaries health economics has evolved uh, into highly specialized field drawing on related disciplines including epidemiology, statistics, psychology, operation, research and mathematics in applications uh, and in these applications. Uh, it may also be uh, regarded as an essential part of the set of analytical you know, methods applied to health which are usually labeled health economics research. Um, so, less cynically economic literacy in health services is essential uh, because you know um, because healthcare providers will be actually uh, getting the scope for their improvement especially the best use of their resources and the optimizing uh, of its uh, level. Then the policy makers may you know, delve into the different tools of uh, they used to delve into the different tools of policies and uh, if the you know, indicators of or the, 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 the specific tools which might uh, help them to evaluate and also uh, find out whether the, the attempts which have they have taken is actually affordable or, or um, accessible to all or not. Then concerning with health insurers is especially to manage risk and ensure cost effective coverage. We have also discussed in our next uh, lecture uh, in while shaping up you the concept very concept and jargons used in um, health economics will give you what exactly uh, are the snapshot of different lectures we have covered. At this moment I am not giving you the snapshot I know that you will follow the next lecture to find out. Since you have already uh, entered into a discourse which is little advanced in nature and hence you I am sure that you will go through 
and healthcare insurance particularly uh, how to step up the healthcare market insurance market and uh, in guaranteeing the best uh, you know um, coverage and to, and the best uh, accessibility through their through their coverage then last one is on the patient especially to uh, address the quality of healthcare uh, and and subject to the uh, finance related to the specific course uh, and its uh, beneficiaries will address um, the course specific beneficiary like if you attend it you are going to get uh, an uh, fdp certificate uh, just enrolling is not going to guarantee you enrolling with appearing uh, the exam and getting a pass mark will give you a fdp certificate which is guaranteed by our ministry of education uh, through the aict and it may count as a you know training you know certificate uh, and this course is also um, very affordable and recognized as the credit based in iits and nits and uh, you know like you know four week course uh, we have four 12 week course equivalent to four credit okay and so on and three three uh, 30 sorry um, um, uh, like uh, when we have eight weeks course, it is equivalent to three credit uh, programs in IITs, etc. This course also aligns perfectly with the new education policy since, you know, as per the instructions, the NEP, uh, they are facilitating the online module and uh, and then it widely reach, okay, and, uh, you know, it, it you know, gives the idea of all the possible resources simultaneously and the NEP facilitates online content and its recommendations. We have tried to design this course a little application based as much as possible and uh, we have cited the real world examples and uh, we uh, try to you know uh, uh, try to solve those you know uh, questions based on the real life you know, examples. Uh, as well as so that you know it can serve the purpose of all those who look to the field um, based studies especially the students health professionals and researchers insert uh, you know wherever background you are coming with economics or healthcare we uh, we are we have tried our best to expand your vision and understanding of health and healthcare uh, using an um, you know economics lens but still it gives huge extent of uh, uh, information for the medical uh, professionals as well, professionals as well. Then what uh, is in our next lecture? We have given you almost all the background of our course, uh, so far as introduction of the course is concerned. In the next lecture, we will be uh, covering its concept and the terminologies which are largely in health economics. Here are the larger readings of the different you know, uh, weeks. You can procure this. I am suggesting that if you procure this or get the, at least the PDF copy of it in your system, I am sure that you can raise good questions and uh, it will be also facilitating us to improve the module in the next time as well, if any. Okay, so with this, it is um, the time I am expecting and, and opening the floor for you to you know, learn as much as possible and you know, and thank you.